I mean, we can't just stop there, right? Because we're competitors. So as soon as we made champs, goals changed. We pretty much went to win it all. It's the 16 best teams in the world. And a new experience was different play styles. Obviously this whole year, we've been playing against all the APAC teams. Whereas when we played Lev, it felt like we had that edge mechanically, but uh, you know, their slow play style and like more macro based play style of the game. It felt foreign at first, but I mean, it was fun uh, to play against the different play styles. It's a success. It may not be, I think ultimately where everybody expected us to be, especially given how the last two months have went. But I would say overall, this was a pretty good success. Coming up today, we're heading to Group C, as we talked about. And of course, we get Ospos returning to the champion stage when Leviathan takes on Talon Esports in our first match of the day. So our goal as a team at the beginning of the year was to make champs, and obviously we did it. I mean, we can't just stop there, right? Because we're competitors, so as soon as we made champs, goals changed. We pretty much went to win it all. We left Sunset just in case because we prepared the most. We were going to be like this. So we thought it would be Sunset and Abyss. But there's a chance we just steal 2 0. We get to use the Sunset. Bind, to bind Ascent. Bind Ascent. Sunset. Sunset. It's Bind Ascent. Yeah, Bind there's the Ascent. Which is insane to me. Insane. A cruise team yes. up against an America's team mm -hmm. in the early stages of a tournament. Somewhere out there, Finesse is panicking. <laughs> well, let's see if Talon tastes as good as they smell. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Let's go, bro. Have fun, have fun. That was the goal. He's using it. Immediately used. And we'll have to force King back. Base is here. Let's go. There's still 2B. There's still 2B. Aspas is a very good player. We're just gonna not play around him. The game plan is to go away from him. But it's only gonna be the one. The trade, fantastic. And the best opportunity we've seen so far. Ban, trying to play aggressively though. And that might be a problem. Yeah, that hasn't worked out. Primmy grabs their eyes and the back swing from Governor. Alongside Jip Boy secures the round. Talent. One round on the board. Governor's under real trouble. Strip down. How did he do that? Our com has just been absolutely destroyed. It was uh, probably my best neon clip, my craziest one, I think. If I did that in ranked, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, I feel like. But I feel like doing it in a match was pretty exciting. After I got that kill, um, I knew, like, damn, I just fucked up. Yo, Corbin! Corbin! You have to kill me there! You have to kill me there! I'm a free kill, bro! What the fuck? Good job, Peter. Let me tell you, we talk about Primmy coming in here. The governor seems to be the one in charge. Still got the molly that was fired out, and then King gets a double on the back, just swinging in every kill for Leviathan. Barely a scratch of damage. Oh, that's it feels like the hundredth time, but he'll be shut down here. 13 to 11. Leviathan looked down and out, but they came back in the nick of time. It's the 16 best teams in the world, and a new experience was different play styles. Obviously, this whole year, we've been playing against all the APAC teams, whereas when we played Lev, it felt like we had that edge mechanically, but uh, their, you know, their slow play style and like more macro based play style of the game. It felt foreign at first, but I mean, it was fun uh, to play against the different play styles. Quite a bit, he'll be back up to 100, but Primmy has lost his life in the meantime. A little off angle that they weren't expecting. Mazzino grabs it, cruises down, and now they're looking to seize that last player. He won't be in the cocoon, but he won't be in the round either. Five players to take down, three more rounds after. It's not an easy feat, and it's left just to this man. He's shy of an ace. Four more kills needed to lock it in, to close this round and then look for three more. It's a long road back. And it looks like Leviathan have done it. The time ticking away and three man firing squad waiting for the swing. It's done. America's number one for a reason, Leviathan. Our game situation 
analysis is just not good enough. We kept making too many mistakes in spots where we had advantage or situations where we discussed things. You know, perfect example, the Viper alt round. We went over that exact scenario and we had all the tools that we talked about in practice that we wanted to have to counter a situation like this. And when the moment comes, everybody forgets what to do. Those things were ultimately the difference in the series. I thought our ascent, we had a lot of advantage on ascent and we just kept throwing rounds. And both our inexperience and our lack of game IQ in those moments really allowed them to escape with a victory. But that's, that's a series I felt was a 2-0 and we just did everything we could to give them the win. Vitality, Paper X versus Foot, day eight of Champion Soul starts right now. There's a spam could make all the difference. Trex is firing. This guy lighting him up. Grimmy. Exactly Chance potentially there with the ult. Not dead yet, but doesn't offer to use it here. Well, that Vitality game. I think we were scared of losing. Even with the Nightfall as well, catching Noise, cut away from Chip Boys. One broken as well, a battle on multiple fronts. Trex is locking it down fully, entirely. Attack from Governor, but now, looking this way, that way, 180 direction. Not enough eyes available for him to even know which way to play it around in. This is Vitality again. I mean, they're just walking all over them. Hmm. Racing him down, individual fights earned oh, that's 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 utilized, but Vitality in the end with that discipline, doubling up to seal up the map. It's all in his hands, it's all on his shoulders, and he is no long for this world. A 13-8. To finish this map, Vitality survive. Took our result and told it to me at the beginning of the year. I would have been very happy, but I think as the year went on and we kept getting better and better, while our goal was at the beginning of the year to make champs, I think it was clear to everyone that we definitely could have done a lot better and it was pretty embarrassing how it played out. We didn't even get a map. Although I'm happy we made champs, it's Bittersweet because I know we did not show what we were capable of on that stage. มากเลยครับแล้วมาแรกๆผมก็ไม่คิดว่าทีมเราจะไปถึงชาติแบบนี้ไปแชมป์ได้หรือแบบตบทีมอื่นได้เพราะตอนแรกเราก็ไอ้